Hey everyone, so I am going to show you my sketchbook that I finished earlier this year. These are the dates from November 2017 to March 2018. And I've already started another sketchbook, but I thought I would go ahead and show this one off. It's my first sketchbook tour that I've actually recorded, so I'm pretty excited. These two flower stickers are actually my own flower stickers that I made a long time ago, and this is the art a la carte sticker that I got in her pack not that long ago. It's so cute. And there are some pages in here that I can't show you just because it's commission work for a comic book and it hasn't been released yet so I can't actually show you anything from there. Um, just It's only a couple pages though. Oh, this is a, a note from my husband that he gave me in the middle of working one day and I just taped it in there. Uh, this was for when I created my avatar, which is a video that I posted, I think, in the, actually November when I first got this. And these are just some kind of pose studies. A lot of my uh, work is messy sketching because I, I have a lot of ideas, so I like to hurry up and get them out. So this was for the, um, like the unofficial entry for the YouTube Artist Collective the Grimm's fairy tale one and I just turned that into kind of like a short comic. I focused a lot more um, in this sketchbook on gestures instead of any real completed ideas. That's Eleven from Stranger Things and then that was Mike I think. I can't remember and that's the other kid. I haven't watched Stranger Things in a while so and this was some ideas that I got for like a sci-fi, practicing different noses. This was what Aurelia originally, well not originally looked like, but this was kind of me shaping out her whole outfit and exactly what she was going to look like. That's my punky cyborg picture. That's my husband. <laughs> and that was after I got my hair cut like that, I decided to try to draw that and that's from shoot the arrow picture that's the behind you picture the AI hunter I was practicing folds here which I really like the way this skirt came out and there's the scarf there's a space cadet some hands oh this was from the mouse comic that I posted last year that I made Plants vs. Zombies fan art. This is Tifa from Final Fantasy 7. And I was trying to do like a realistic action posy, kind of like if she was in a comic book. Um, these are some more just gestures I did. This is the mouse comic that I did a video on. Um, just some sketching with, I think I got a new pen and I just wanted to see what I could do with that. This was a dragon tutorial that I have a book on that I decided to follow. Underneath here is what I can't show you. So just this, this has stuff on it. I just have a paper covering it. And this was just some um, just practice drawing. Actually, I think I was drawing or I was watching a Drawing with Waffles video and she did something similar to that. Um, I think they were just standing close. So I did, looked on Pinterest for something to do a reference real quick on. And this was trying to decide what to do with the poinsettia queen. There's the poinsettia queen there, which I did a, oh, that was the watercolor brush review that I did. These are just some scenes that I was sketching for my graphic novel, just trying to get an idea of how I wanted to do the environment. This is not my original drawing. This was a Ian, Ian McCure, I think reference that he drew this so I tried to draw you know and get the lines right but I really liked his drawing that he did. Um, this was Captain America gesture form, Thor gesture form. This is just trying to get a different perspective of someone drawing. This I, I still love this. <laughs> this is my cyborg like it just started off with her here and then I decided to finish it and then turn it to like some comic theme so I really enjoyed doing that one. That's still something I would like to turn into like a short comic. Uh, this was around Christmas, so it's like wrapping, pa wrapping paper, wrapping presents, expectation, and then reality. I'll do an 
anything on that page. Um, and this is just some more gesture stuff. These were face references where I decided to do funny quotes with each of them. I think this was supposed to be some kind of sincere um, photo picture and I just made it look like she was thinking really hard. I wrote spelling upside down because my daughter needed to know how to spell spelling so I wrote that there while I was drawing. Um, this one and then that one. Those were just for fun. And this was the start of like a dragon piece I was going to do but I never finished. This is some more um, uh, Eliza and I can't remember her name but she's a comedian so I was sketching her while I was watching her stand up on Netflix. Some eyes, more gestures, some more of the funny quotes. last one in there. These are just more loose gestures. Um, those were sketches for character design that I needed to do for an author. This was my Christmas picture that I decided to sketch out. Uh, that was also with the character design. She needed a jacket, so I was trying different jackets. And she was originally going to have that pose. That's the character design sketch. So that's her, and then these are like all the different emotions. It's just another reference drawing. Wolverine, Storm. Uh, I was going to do something with Jean Grey there. These are all X-Men characters that I was looking at. And this was for my Final Fantasy, where I was just getting the idea of the outline and the simplicity of the design. This is just another sketch. Uh, these are the start, the ideas that I had for the dragon. So this is basically what I'm talking about. Like here I got the idea of someone holding or finding a small dragon in the woods. And I quickly sketched it out. I quickly sketched it out here. And then here, I try to get it a little bit more detailed and get a nice idea for it. Also here, too. And then I came, I had this. So these were originally really messy in the squared off paper, and then I added details. So I, I have to hurry up and get my ideas out because oftentimes I'll forget. Um, these are just emotions, practicing emotions. Another kid from Stranger Things, can't remember. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Um, this was some stuff, uh, rough layout for the Seekers that I'm not using anymore. There's the Zelda. I don't know if you can really see that one too well. That was supposed to be a whole detailed piece that didn't end up being a detailed piece. Final Fantasy. That's the follow me picture. Different ideas. Um, like post-apocalyptic stuff. There's gas mask, goggles, boots, like a helmet with goggles. Um, there's a backpack, a gun, bow and arrows, just different things. This, I was trying to practice different lighting. Like, so if the light source was coming this way, it would only hit certain parts of her face and her hair. If the light source was coming that way. This is just trying to practice like wild, crazy curly hair. I think that I'm almost positive that was also a reference drawing. And there's something on here that I can't show you guys. This, I actually got my charcoal out. That's why it looks like really messy. And started doing something. And I wanted to see what it would look like to do um, markers with charcoal and then markers with ink. So this one has the brush pen and this one has charcoal with it. And those were the only two colors I had because I didn't feel like getting up and getting the other ones. So that's why she has a yellow face. This is Aurelia and Circe. This is from Modern Day James, his channel. He did um, a tutorial on different ways to draw the head in different angles, which is gonna come in handy. Um, that's Aurelia's Kraken tattoo. That was a scene of her running. This is the Levin from Stranger Things. 
there's the actual sketch of the piece that I recorded video on. This is just some fan art ideas. I have actually never played Overwatch, but I like the way her character looked. So I drew her and I sketched Link in a different pose. And then I was gonna do a smaller like 11s drawing here, um, a print of that, but I never did. And then here's BB-8 and R2-D2 because my one of my kids actually, well, a lot of my kids, I think all of them, that actually are aware of what Star Wars is. They really like Star Wars, so I was doing that for them. These were some building and um, perspective, mostly perspective drawings. So, I mean, there's the, the actual reference look like this, so I tried to turn it and see if I can get it to what this would look like if it was just a front view. And I think that was the reference. That one was the actual reference, and there's a front view I did. And then I did one of Spider-Man because looking at different um, pictures of Spider-Man are really good for helping with reference or perspective I mean so this one was also perspective where she was supposed to be like on top of this huge tower the video the camera supposed to be looking down at hers oh, you see that one real good here we go so it, the camera angle is kind of angling a little bit downward so her face looks like it's more scrunched together she's on the tower and the birds are around her there and these were just some gestures. Um, more reference drawings for, um, just for environment purposes. This is for the sketch, see this is another example, like really loose, messy sketching. This was the Dragon Gentleman series. So it's really hard, like here's his face. I just did the line, like I always do cross in the middle of their face just so I know that that's supposed to be a face. There's the dragon, different ideas were scratched out for him. There's the angry dragon. This was, well it was supposed to be the pouty dragon but I changed it to the stubborn dragon. And then this was the wise dragon. So it, I mean it's very messy and I like to do, if I have a plan to make it into a video or use it in a bigger piece, I usually get a piece of um, printer paper and then I'll use kind of this as my guideline when I use my light box to transfer the sketch over. This was for the YouTube Arts Collective Battle of the Two Queens, gesture action drawings because I made them battle. Um, another for my dragon book, which is right here. I found this at the thrift store and I really like the different um, steps that they have. Let's see if I can find where the dragon is. So there's the, there's the reference of the dragon. And I started up high, I don't know why I didn't give myself enough space, but you know, I was trying to label where it is and copy it down. And then I used my pen to shade in where the darker places are. There's another dragon sketch. This is Aurelia, which is the one. This was the sketch I used for the 24 hour drawing. This one's Seersa. This was just another. This I was trying to practice with the gold ink, if you can tell that it's metallic looking, with um, a black ink and kind of just mixing it around and just experimenting a little bit, but I do like that piece a lot. See, this is just more random sketches. These were drawings for the art book that I had to put on hold because of the graphic novel and the freelance work that I have. So this was one of the horses, this was the pig, the cheetah. This was the Aquarius piece that I did and this was the guest artist piece that I did. And then this is just artist loft marker and Copic marker testing just to see what the back of the paper did. So this is just regular drawing paper and the artist loft paper bled a lot instead of the Copic marker. Um, this, if you've ever seen the ghetto Spider-Man where he dances and he's dressed up as Spider-Man, I was trying to draw some of his dance moves because I was watching that and I laughed. This was Birds of the Feather concept art random sketches and coloring which didn't bleed through so I think this was the watercolor brush markers that's why it didn't bleed through 
they see how vibrant they are. They're really good. Um, a post-apocalyptic um, sketch. This was some notes that I took for another character design for a different author. This was a more realistic sketch of James that I have for the graphic novel. Concept art for a separate comic. This is concept art for Mary Doodle's 1950s theme that she had. And this was the original, like what I was going to do. And uh, it's, the finished piece is actually in here, so I'll be able to show you that too. This one says, be at peace with all men. And then I was going to draw like a big piece there that I never did. And there's the final piece that I did for her 1950s theme. And this was just practicing with, once I tried the Ohuhu brush pen, I decided to actually really try it some more and do some of this work. I like the little parakeet there. And in the back here, there's some blank spaces left because I still have to finish the 365 drawing. But this was January's. And here's February where I drew all guys. So January was all female and February's all male. This was the sketches for the ASMR video that I recorded. Here's just a March of Robots daily drawing. After a while, I realized that I wasn't as creative with robot creating as I was hoping to be. But it was really a lot of fun. And this is right now, this is April's um, hand drawings. And of course, the last day of April, I will record the last day for the hands, which will probably end up going on this page. And then I'll be doing Mermaid which I have, the rest of these pages are blank, so that's why I can finish the 365 drawings, hopefully within these pages, but probably not. And I'll record Mermaid um, probably once or twice a month. And that's it. That is my sketchbook from November 2017 to March 2018, and I already have my other one about a third of the way filled up with just a lot of concept art. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time.